is a policy statement, not a legal document, and one so thin that it's absolutely translucent for such an unprecedented unilateral action in invoking the Section 35 powers. And frankly, I've been disgusted by a lot of the tone of the debate today. There are a lot of people who I'm very interested to hear suddenly become massive defenders of equality, yeah, yeah. including the Honourable Member from Don Valley, who I remember being in a Westminster Hall debate with when he said that Doctor Who being a woman was turning boys gay, among other ridiculous arguments. Give way. Please. Oh, will you give way? That is not. I won't, I won't give way, actually. I think the other is more than enough. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, I, will not, I will not withdraw it. No, no. The honourable gentleman must resume his seat. Must resume his seat. If he wants to say a point of order, he can make a point of order. Point of order, Madam Mr. Speaker. Point of order, Nick Fletcher. Honourable member, to withdraw that and refer to one side, that is not what I said. That is an outright lie. Ah. No, 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 no. Uh, the honourable gentleman must um, uh, qualify that. I think he meant she may have unintentionally uh, misled the House. Is that what he is going to say? I hope it is. Yes, it is, Madam it Mr is. Speaker. It is. And I hope, um, with regard to the point of order which obviously he was addressing to me, to say that he felt, on a point of order, that what had been said was incorrect. My response to that is that if the Honourable Lady at any point feels that what she has said when she goes back to look at the debate has unintentionally misled the House, that she will correct the record. And I'm taking her word for it that she will do that. Charlotte Nichols. Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. And on checking Hansard, the Honourable Member actually said that Doctor Who being a woman was turning boys towards a life of crime. Uh, so clearly it was a matter of misogyny rather than homophobia. <laughs> However, I, I am very sorry for having inadvertently misled the House in accusing the member in a very legitimate comment that I made about his brand new respect for our equality legislation in having made a remark that was misogynist rather than in fact homophobic. So I apologise for that omission. I will not give way. We've heard more than enough from the Honourable Member today. What I would like to talk about is the substance of this piece of paper, because frankly it is an absolute joke. I will declare an interest as an LGBT woman as someone who is myself LGBT and exists, something that's been forgotten entirely in this debate by people that are trying to draw a false distinction between the rights of women and the rights of LGBT people, including trans people. I'm afraid that I don't have the time that I would like to go through all of the clauses in here, which, as I said, are so flimsy as to be ridiculous, including Clause 20, which I'm calling the computer says no clause, which, as the, minister, the uh, Shadow Minister referred to earlier, says that the law can't be changed because the computer system couldn't handle it. The computer system should be changed to abide by the law, not the other way around. These adverse uh, potential impacts are flimsy. This piece of paper is an absolute nonsense and, as I said, there is just no justification whatsoever for such an unprecedented action in invoking Section 35.